and I'll work alongside these men and women behind me and the men and women that serve under them. Sure Republican U.S. Senator Marco Rubio accepted the endorsement of 55 Florida sheriffs. In promising his support to law enforcement, he cited reports that show a national spike in homicides and the intentional killings of law enforcement officers reached a 20-year high last year. In blaming a Democratic Party, he believes, wants to defund police and prosecute police. You inject the, the, the spirit of lawlessness into a society. He says his challenger, Democratic Congresswoman Val Demings, is part of the problem, despite her 27 years wearing a badge and serving as Orlando's chief. Marco Rubio is in trouble. She tells me she has no intention of cutting police funding and was proud to vote for the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, which would make officers liable in lawsuits for misconduct had it passed the Senate. The overwhelming majority of law enforcement officers are good, decent people who risk their lives every day but there's been some problems and good police officers want us to deal with those problems she should know better it's even worse when someone who knows better and should know better decides to align themselves with this effort to call into question the work that law enforcement is doing Demings points out Rubio is the one who voted against the American Rescue Plan, which, according to a news release from Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, provided $208 million in bonuses for 174,000 first responders. In backing his no vote, Rubio explained on Twitter that the act provided too much pork for Democrats. Is I'm not going to get pumped into voting for a bill that helps Pelosi bail out California, uh, but does nothing to help you and help our country. It makes absolutely zero sense, but desperate people do desperate things, and so do lifelong politicians. On immigration, Rubio says that Demings would allow, quote, criminal aliens into our country, while Demings says that not everyone who crosses the border unlawfully is a criminal and a threat, a key issue for Florida in this race. In Orange County, Greg Fox.